Sunday the 19th of September. Six days left to we take on the Boom Boom and Track. Training this week has gone slightly better than last week. Hit 10k. Uh, one of the days that was two seven and a half, so I actually hit 15k. But first time over 10k in quite a while. Six days left, as I said. How am I feeling? Uh, excited, nervous, not as stressed as I was. Yeah, all the above. Uh, excited and, and nervous, I suppose, is probably the two main things. Just want to get it started at this stage. Really looking forward to the challenge and uh, and raising that awareness and funds for dementia. It's going up all the time, and thank you to everybody that's donated so far. Um, absolutely blown away by the support. We're over six thousand three hundred dollars at the minute, and and raising vastly. So really appreciate it. Uh, getting close to that goal of ten thousand. Yeah, what's my plan now at the minute is the rest of the week, the rest of the five days before we head down is work. Work's really busy at the minute, so big focus on making sure I get to Friday with as much done as possible in the evenings ready to go good bit of packing done this morning which is good five pairs of shoes about a billion pairs of socks because of the wet weather uh, yeah really exciting time so no it doesn't sound like it but it is uh, plan game plan for the actual race start move forward keep moving forward averaging about 100k a day which is a big target I know that uh, it's a very ambitious and it could all go wrong should I let the body break down too much and not get enough time to heal so I will play it by ear a little bit and see how we go but yeah as I say really really looking forward to it first goal finish it raise as much awareness and funds for dementia as I can second goal is to do it as quick as I possibly can and, and let's see where that ends up so that's it for me for now I will put the last few weeks of training and I do apologize for not having much time leading into this and, and capturing the weekly updates but I will tag it on to the end of this video and then I will try and capture it the best I can in my fatigued probably delirious state I'm sure so uh, keep an eye out for that one whenever it comes up but as always thanks for everybody that's offered the support continued the support uh, we'll get back to making some other videos after after this runs out of the road and um, thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i hope everybody's stream's going really well i hope you're having a ball out there to the next time yes sir. monday the 9th of august uh little lay on this morning till five o'clock out now same old routine run to the train and then run to work probably get uh, maybe 10k up this morning depending on the time I get to the next stop and depending on the time I have to get to work so bit of rain this morning again which has been unusual this last month in Perth so, uh, yeah, look after yesterday's easy day and as I say last week ended up with 90k in total so feels like a lot less than it should have been and then I remind myself again it's still 90k uh, so look let's see what this week brings try and juggle life work family and training and also the planning so get closer to have that plan finished thankfully which I know there's a huge chance that it could go out the window day two <laughs> if I don't hit my targets and the body doesn't hold up so 
interesting, but that's where I'm at at the minute. And we'll uh, keep you updated. Monday morning done. Uh, 10k up, which is good considering they had a little lay in this morning. So, uh, see what the rest of the day brings. Monday, the 8th of August evening. Uh, we got just over 10.5k up at the minute. Close to 11 and a bit whenever I get back to the house. Uh, give me 22 for today. I don't know what's going on, but my left calf and left shin very, very sore at the minute. I don't really know what to do with that. I have reduced the case the last... Well, sorry. Whenever I say I don't know what to do with that, that's not true. I know exactly what I should do. I know I should rest. <laughs> oh, stupidly. I don't want to rest. Seven weeks out. Six and a half weeks out, I don't feel like I have the time to rest a couple of more weeks until the tapering starts. I suppose, like I have done for the last couple of weeks, I need to continue that balancing act between too little and too much and what's too little for a thousand K run. Get into the house, it'll be more recovery more trying to rub, do all the things that I normally do to keep the legs going. I have booked in needling on Thursday with Oceanside Chiropractic. Uh, look, wanted to pull the plug this evening at 3k. <laughs> so the fact that I've managed 11, got to be happy with that. Tuesday the 10th, another wet and wild one. Just over 11k uh, up on Wednesday, Wednesday the 11th of August. Uh, lost battery yesterday, I do apologise. Feeling, feeling mentally strong. Come back on the Ks each day till, till roughly about 20. Uh, still struggling along with my, with my left calf and shin. But some drain a needle in tomorrow night and hopefully that helps. That's really the update for now. Wednesday the 11th of August, nearly over. Uh, what have we got? About a K left to the house. And just about 21K up. 22K a day. And I've just had to get my head right with being okay with the shorter distance for two reasons. To give myself a break from beating myself up my uh, left calf my left calf and shin still sore the easier distances last week has definitely helped with that the other reason is we're just kicking off another project at work and it's super busy so between that and the plan for the actual Bibliman track challenge. Life's bird for the 12th, over uh, 8k up this morning. Done some pill repeats uh, up towards Kings Park for an hour. Uh, yeah, feeling not too bad. I don't know if hill repeats was the best idea with the sore calf, but we'll see. Uh, Needling tonight at Oceanside Chiropractic with Dr. John. So. Hopefully that solves the problem. Sunday the 15th. 33k up at the minute. Uh, that turn off over there is where I head back to the house. 2k out. But I'll try and push on a little bit further to try and get closer to 50k today. Uh, nobody else this last couple of days. Friday, I do believe I had left the GoPro behind. I think I got up about 14k. Uh, if I get 50 up today, it will be close to, I don't know, somewhere around 130. I haven't really been paying much attention to the case this last few weeks. Reason for that is a few things left calf and shin 
still giving me a good bit of trouble trying to not beat myself up about not running when I think I should be and just running when I can. The fact that after 4k this morning I wanted to turn back and was fit to keep pushing on and managing it is uh, well, it's a sign that I'm still trying to do what I can do. Well, we got six weeks to the run, so it's starting to, starting to get very close. It's starting to feel very real. Uh, <coughs> it's really all I have for you. So I think. I keep focusing on management of this legs and oh, today. Probably one of the hotter days of the year, which has been good. Got out at 11.30 this morning, just as coming in the peak time of the day. Been running through, it's probably about three, two and a half, two, three o'clock, I'm guessing now. Through the peak hours, somewhere around about 25 to 28 degrees, I'm, I'm imagining. Oh, more or less 47k up on Sunday. Nearly back to where I turn off to a home for the 3 k uh, We'll see how the legs react tomorrow whenever we try to make them run again in the morning. So, oh, we get the 50 gun first tonight. Tuesday the 15th, 16th maybe, Tuesday the 16th of August. I think, something like that. We were running yesterday. Had Cairo, physio, Massage. I had a massage last, so I didn't want the legs to be totally torn to shreds after the 50k on Sunday for that. Uh, calf, still very sore this morning. Managed to clock up uh, 17.5k this morning, and we'll see how this evening goes. Try and get a few more up this evening, but. Where, I was, where I'm fit to still run with the calf and chin it's still not just quite right so uh, we'll see what comes from that in the next couple of days and uh, time to get to work Tuesday evening the 17th I'm sure it's the 17th this time it's not the 16th or the 15th like I said this morning uh, obviously walking at the minute so just had planned to see how how many k's I could clock up this evening. I uh, got out a sensible time out of work but one or two k's into it, it was pretty clear that pushing through this morning and getting up the 17 on the shore calf and the shore shin on the left uh, and obviously the 50k on Sunday is just not working out well for me. Uh, definitely very sore this evening and with about five and a half weeks left till the event kicks off and run on the Bibliman track it's it's just not worth the uh, pushing it so I have uh, decided that well, I thought five and a half weeks out it's going to be a five and a half weeks taper <laughs> at this point uh, goal now is to be as fit as I can for for the start line uh, I had planned to get kind of another big week volume in this week I would hope to hit Somewhere between 130, like I hit last week, 135 till 200 was what I was aiming for, but not gonna happen based on on how the legs feel today. And I gotta be okay with that. So, uh, yeah, not really ideal, but hey, what do I do? I uh, I can honestly say to myself, I have pushed and and clocked up as many k's as possible. Uh, I have certainly crammed since January till now into quite a few k's. There's lots of years I haven't done as many k's, so I gotta be happy with with what I've up. Uh, get to the start line now, fresh, and hopefully the mental aspect can take me to the end. Uh, still fit to walk on it, which is good. It's sore, but it's still move. It's just a thousand k's a long way to walk. Saturday the twentieth. We're gonna actually says the twentieth. I'm gonna say the twenty-first, just to be different. We're 
out here at Conspicuous Bay, doing a little bit of trimming of the trail. I just got this gold plated cheers. Uh, what are we doing about 6, 12k of trimming today? Yeah, that's all, yeah, just like that. And uh, yeah, now we're just finished back to So this is what Chester Peak Road Ash. Yes. The 4x4 four four section which currently probably isn't possible. Uh, so we're gonna have a look and go for a little run and see what the other end of it looks like as an aid station. Monday the 23rd. Uh, out for a little short 4k before work body is still feeling a little bit hit and miss the uh, shin. Not as bad I don't think but maybe that's because I'm not going as long. Uh, giving it time to recover and being a little bit more patient with myself. Good weekend of maintenance on the Bibbulmun track and kind of in a few areas we could get access for the cruise. Productive from that point of view. Uh, rest of the week looks like it will be uh, slow and easy until we can get this shin and calf sorted out. Tapering has officially started. Big thanks to Ashley who spent the weekend down on the trails with me exploring, so that was really helpful actually. And very much appreciated. Tuesday, Tuesday the 23rd of August completed. Uh, morning time completed. What we got? Uh, just over 8k up this morning. I'm feeling a little bit tight in cast, but that's okay. I've come to accept that. Pain in the shins getting a little bit better, which is good. Uh, four weeks on Friday, so it's Tuesday, so four weeks and three days or something like that. Four days, so very much now at the point of accepting that time to taper, uh, take it easy, let the body recover totally before the race and uh, try and be as prepared as possible for it. Still a lot of planning to do so currently working through that uh, at the moment but getting closer so that is good. Wednesday the 25th, uh, only managed 3k up yesterday evening on the way home. Shin and calf still very slow. So back on the bike today. Uh, 43k up or something this morning, about an hour and a half on the bike. So oh my ass got so soft over the years. So so happens when you're not on the bike that much. Alright. Then we get work started. Thursday the twenty sixth maybe? Five K walk up this morning. Uh, shin, calf, still not right, so just gonna leave it for a few days, and maybe a week or two before I do anything again on it. So just trying to keep busy, uh, keep moving somehow, which might be counterproductive, but I'll have to make that call later in the week if it's not getting any better. Uh, ass, very sore from that bike yesterday, clock up 83k in the bike, cycled home yesterday managed to get a puncture on the way home too so it's been a busy couple of days but uh, yeah feeling good. Cameron told me to take four days recovery time after the bike yesterday which is unusual but that's what uh, that's what Cameron says sometimes. Wednesday the 2nd of September I believe. Ah, maybe it's the first I don't know. Uh, back running a little bit today thankfully. Uh, good news the calf and shin is definitely feeling stronger and better but not so good news is whatever the issue is it's moving up my leg into my calf or my hands. Thursday the 2nd of September. 7.5k up this morning, 9k up yesterday. 
hamstring very tight on the left. Uh, seems like whatever freed up my lower leg, which is still a little bit sore, uh, has now crept up into the hamstrings. So good, really good to be getting at least a few k up. Uh, as I say, total 9k yesterday, which is probably the longest I've run in two weeks. Uh, not ideal still, but hey, I'm okay. Goal now is with three weeks and two days is to make it to the start line fresh, ready to go. Uh, try and get rid of a few of these injuries. So that's where we're at. Brain stop. On the rest. Friday the 3rd of September, uh, no running today, just walked in from uh, CK walk probably, uh, to walk short route to the train station, short work from the train station to work, so walk a little bit this evening again and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, hamstring, mm, not loving it, and the, the the last few low days, even with the low volume, the shins not really reacting great. So I will uh, continue to take it easy and try and rest, I suppose, which is a struggle, but we'll try. Uh, three weeks today, we'll be getting very excited. We'll be heading down towards the towards the uh, start line, start race tomorrow. So not ideal by any stretch of the imagination, but can't change the situation right now, I can only get through this, so, uh, which will be a good tone for, I suppose, the thousand odd K that has to come. So, uh, yeah, update for this morning. Then this this evening, so probably be tomorrow again before you hear from me. So it's Sunday the 5th, uh, 8.30 here, and out for a little grass run. First time I've run in probably four or five days. Uh, Yesterday, hopped onto the bike, did uh, an hour, so 26k, and then Friday, we're really just walking, so a few days now since any running. Uh, shin still not healed, which is a pity because feeling it, it feels a lot better, but pain level down till about a a two mile. Uh, it's hard, hard to figure out and put numbers on being. Yeah, still maybe a four out of ten. So, plan a couple of easy K this morning. As soon as it starts getting more painful at all, I will pull the plug, uh, stay on the grass, loops for now. We'll see how we go. Alright, so Sunday finished. Five and a half K up nearly. Uh, yeah, hamstring still a little bit tight. Uh, chin didn't get any worse. Soft grass is definitely the way to go. It's a start. Just be sensible. Monday the 6th. Uh, just over. 6k up, 6.5k, I'm sure by the time I finish. Uh, how am I feeling? Yeah, not too bad, mentally really good. Uh, we broke the 5,000 mark last night for the funding, so that has definitely given me that little bit of boost in morale. Chin, uh, probably slightly worse than yesterday, but I am on pavement again. Trying to go with a run walk, and uh, my hamstring a little bit tight, so not ideal physically, but eh, under three weeks. Let's be sensible, man. Let's get there. Wednesday, the eighth of September. Uh, <laughs> time ticking away very fast. Uh, what have we got today? Decided to take the bike this morning just to give that shin a chance to continue to 
uh, heal and get better. 25k up on the bike and then got out for a little 3k run before work. Uh, slow, still station, still just not not right. Uh, not as far along as I would like either. So out this evening again, uh, walk and run to the uh, train station, trying to just add in kind of like a little 30 step shuffle uh, into my walks just to try and get that average pace down because worst case scenario if it's still the same in, in a week and a half whenever I kick off I'm definitely gonna have to look at how I manage that throughout the throughout the run so at this point I'm thinking mostly hike and uh, with some short uh, run sections in it which not ideal, but hey, that's where we're at. Uh, how am I doing other than that mentally? Feeling good, feeling strong. And uh, yeah, trying to keep the morale up. And as I say, just trying to do enough uh, to hold my fitness and not stress out about what's to come ahead. Very much trying to focus on what I can do on a daily basis. The fact that, as I say, I know I could can run on the leg the way it is now, or even short distances, and the pain level not really shoot up too much, is is a bonus. It's just really how long that would be able to last for the thousand k. So that's Tuesday update. Trains coming behind me, so. We'll leave it there at that and uh, see what tomorrow brings. Thursday the 9th, Thursday the 9th, just before 7 a.m. Uh, 7k walk this morning just to continue that recovery of the shin. So good from the point of view that get over 7k walking done. Uh, bad from the point of view that it's still sore running. Uh, what we got? I'm guessing we have got 15 days to kick off. Mm. Take it easy, Glenn. Wednesday the 12th, I think, of July. Uh, 8k done this morning, which is the most in a while. Feeling, apart from wet, feeling happy to be running again, to be honest. Uh, yeah, 5k yesterday, mostly wrong. 8k today, mostly wrong. So, calf and that feeling a little bit stronger. Uh, just need to be very careful. Under eight days left, I think. So, we'll see what the next few days bring. Thursday the 16th, even. Uh, first day over 10k, which is feeling good. Uh, in a long time, and look, I suppose about ten days out from the race. Not even ten days, nine days out from the race. It, uh, yeah, it's came at a good time. I definitely needed to to feel that. So, five k this morning, eight k this morning, eight k this morning, and. Close to 8k this evening, so feeling really good. Uh, glad to be where I am, and yeah, we try and build on that, be sensible still, and get the start line fresh. That's all I can do now. <sighs> but as I say, longest run 8k, total for the day close to 16 where I was, gotta be happy with that. I can work with this. I can build on this. A little bit of pain I would say, but definitely recovery pain at this stage. It's good.